Well, four technical committees headed by professors from the Indian Institute of Science with Bengaluru Water Supply and Sewerage Board's engineers as members will work on finding solutions to improve the water supply network as well as ensure efficient wastewater treatment in the city as well and also improve the quality of water. Here's a report. Summer's here and the trouble for Bengaluru is looming with water supply to be hit. But it looks like BWSSB is summer ready. BWSSB IASC's partnership to manage water supply. There are four committees headed by professors from IISC and BWSSB who will focus on electrical system improvement and upgradation, wastewater system management and upgradation, hydraulics and distribution system improvement and upgradation and sensing communications and data system. The Indian Institute of Science has collaborated with the BWSSB for effective water management across the city too and uh, we have the uh, Mr. Uh, Tushar Girinath, let's go across and speak to him. It's a wonderful collaborative now. Managing water and managing the supply of water is one art but also going ahead and effectively treating wastewater so that it will meet the needs of Bengalurians is other. So what is this collab all about sir? Yeah. Uh, Indian Institute of Science being a premier institution and uh, we are fortunate that they are located here. They had been supporting us in our various initiatives. Actually, our technical committee is headed by one of the professors of uh, an Institute of Science, and three other very learned professors are also on our technical committee. So we thought that this is a good opportunity rather than bringing matters in the technical committee only and uh, being the matters being put up by us only to the technical committee. It would be better if we go into an, in, into an interactive mode and involve all of our technical committee member and chairman uh, by constituting four task forces. So with the, uh, we had been in touch with the professors for a long time. We have ultimately decided four core areas where we should develop a strategic partnership. Uh, one is, uh, of course, wastewater systems management upgradation because every time uh, the things are changing in the, not only in the processing, but also the standards to which we have to treat our water. So we have uh, under the professor, one of the professors, there is one team with three to four, three or four of our engineers. Okay. Similarly, we have a team for hydraulics. Okay. That is the, for the water distribution system and prevention of the uh, unaccounted for water. That means the water which is leaking here and there, how we can find out without, uh, uh, by non-destructive techniques okay. as to how much maybe the quantum of leakage, et cetera, and how it uh, should be uh, tackled. So that is one uh, group under Professor Mohan Kumar, who is the chairman of our TC also. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have a huge pumping station and uh, at TK Halli, okay. where we have large number of uh, transformers and the switch gears, et cetera. They require upgradation, they require energy saving. Uh, so one of the uh, ISC professor is heading that also. Okay. And the fourth one is on the data analytics, uh, sensor uh, sensing technologies, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, our GLSRs, what is the level of water if we know properly or what water is being pumped at various levels if we know then dynamically we can operate in future our valves etc to see that the distribution is proper sensing technology techniques are required in a number of places in actually in the wa wastewater also a lot of sensing technology is required mm -hmm. so that is the cutting edge okay. uh, sensing technology communication and data analytics for various purposes each committee to focus on one area these committees will work as the think tanks for BWSSB. Each committee will be headed by a senior IAC professor, while it will have four BWSSB engineers or assistant engineers as members. IAC is currently monitoring consumption and unaccounted for water in several areas. So we do not want a knee-jerk type of that this uh, summer we will tackle with the Indian Institute of Science is not the idea. Okay. We have to, over a period of time, see that the strategic initiatives are taken in uh, BWSSB, mm -hmm. which are in line with the modern technology, and it will give the scope for the Indian Institute of Science to experiment with us. Projects can then be replicated at a higher level okay. so that the organization-wide, we can see the improvements. That is the idea. There is inequity in water supply in the city there is a huge difference between the amount of water supplied and consumed. A lot of energy is also spent due to leakages and blocks in the transmission system, which will be rectified. Sir, now uh, we have uh, learned uh, that uh, four professors will be heading all these four committees. Uh, are also your engineers also a part of uh, each yeah. of these teams? Yeah, yeah. 
so we have not gone strategy i mean hierarchical hierarchically to put the engineers okay. it is not that since uh, that is one committee we will put only the uh, chief engineers etc we have taken three to four uh, persons who are from our organization mm -hmm. only the head is from indian institute of science mm -hmm. another four persons are taken from our our uh, organization mm -hmm. they are uh, ranging from aes to the ace level okay. that means assistant engineers uh, who are young and have just come out from the institute and have few years of experience. They have done their M.Tech, etc. Then there are AEEs and executive engineers who are very much interested in a particular area and also certain additional chief engineers. So like that we have taken. We have not gone by seniority and filled it. We have gone by uh, the interest of the person and how they have performed in academically and in the field. BWSSB is advised to residents the BWSSB chairman Tushar Girinath also stated that a pinch of summer was already felt and the citizens should use water in a wise manner. Is the BWSSB ready to tackle the perennial problem of water shortage mainly during summer because we are, can already feel the pinch, we are still in Feb now. So we'll have to look at another three to four months. Uh, as you know that water we are pumping from Kaveri yeah. and unless we bring another stage, mm -hmm. we are limited by what is our pumping capacity there. So our pumping capacity maximum is 1450 to 1460 MLD, million liters per day. Uh, so that is how we require a lot of support from the uh, public. Our consumers have to come uh, really to help us to manage the demand. Okay. We can supply, this is only the supply side what I am talking. Mm -hmm. The demand side is a lot, lot more effective and it is in the hands of the uh, consumer. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are coming up with a new regulation which says that they should uh, store the water for reuse mm -hmm. uh, and um, so that uh, they can store it and uh, the water, rainwater is, is immediately used uh, for uh, their local purpose mm -hmm. and it reduces the demand. Mm -hmm. So if the, all that is done, that is treated water is uh, used, the reusing of rainwater and the demand reduction by conserving water if it is undertaken, mm -hmm. uh, surely the demand will come down and it will match to our supply. Okay, wonderful sir. Thank you. So there you go clearly, the chairman giving words of advice even to the public too, because at this point of time, you should also think wisely, but also use it optimally. So that is the big thing that uh, even the consumers uh, will have to look forward to. With camera person Wali, Prajwal Prasad reporting for News 9, Bengaluru.